today I'm going to show you how I make some custom shelving for my bathroom out of some pallet wood that I have. Let's go. So I went ahead and took the measurements of the little hole next to my sink and I'm going to use a jigsaw today to go ahead and cut my wood straight off of the pallet at the measurement I need it to be instead of prying all the wood up because I'm pretty sure it's close to the uh, measurements I need already. This is the jigsaw I'm going to be using. It was literally $20 at Walmart so if you don't have one, it's super easy to pick one up. It doesn't break the bank and it makes your life a lot easier. All right, so I have my wood laid out. I went ahead and cut one in half to make cross members on it. This is our goal, just to make three little shelves that look like this held together by one piece that's across. So I'm gonna use my sander and sand them down real quick. I have 180 grit because it's what I have. Uh, I like to take the extra step and put a little bit of glue in between the wood also, just some extra added security. So, you don't have to do this, but I like to. So you can also use pallet wood for the legs if you wanted to. I personally got some two by twos and I think it was $4 total for both of them. I'm gonna cut them to 30 inches and use them for the legs. The next step I'm gonna do is take the jigsaw and cut some little shapes out with these, able to sit in them just like that. I'm gonna do that to all the corners. Alright, so we've got all of our holes cut in the sides. Now I'm going to prop this up with a piece of wood and upside down I'm going to nail this to the legs. Now to make it a little bit easier, I have a drill with a drill bit and I'm going to pre-drill the holes that I'm going to be nailing my nails into. And when you drill, you drill straight down a little bit and then take it out and then I'm going in at an angle after that. Alright, so my third shelf is wedged in here pretty good. I don't really need anything to hold it up because it's such a tight fit. So I'm going to go ahead and screw some holes and nail this one in also.
right? And I think I'm gonna call that it. Let's have a look. And now for the fun part, let's go put it in its new home. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. That wraps it up for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you liked it. Uh, be sure to leave me some comments and you guys have a great day. Say have a great day. Uh, have a great day.